today we're going to learn all about chickens. Can you say chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Do you want to try it with me? We're going to take one hand that's flat, like it's the ground. We're going to make a fist with the other hand. And we're going to have our thumb come out. And our other fingers, like a beak. And we're going to peck the food off the ground. Like a chicken. 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 Good job. You did amazing. Can you think of any words that come to your mind when you think of the word chicken? Hmm. Those are great words. Yeah, so there's rooster, hen, a chick, or a hatchling, and of course, an egg. You could also think of other words such as grass, right? Because you're outside sometimes, or backyard, chicken enclosures, or maybe chicken food. Those have to do with chickens too. But we're going to focus on the chicken itself today. I'm so excited, and if you're excited too, then let's get ready and warm up for today's lesson. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in. Ready to learn, let's begin. Welcome back. We're going to do some counting. And the great thing about chickens is that they lay eggs. So we're going to count the eggs today. Are you ready? If you're ready, give a thumbs up. Now get your finger out and we're going to point to the different eggs. And we're going to count each one. Here we go. One, two, three eggs, four eggs, one more. What comes after four? Oh, so good. Five eggs, good job. Thank you so much for counting with me. You did great. All right, now let's take a look at a chicken's life cycle. All the stages of life that a chicken grows through from when it's a little baby all the way to an adult. So first, if we look over here, we have an adult chicken. The adult chicken might be called a rooster, if it's a boy or a male chicken, or it might be called a hen, if it's a female or a girl chicken. The hen will lay an egg in a nest, or sometimes a hatch box. Then she will keep her egg nice and warm by sitting on it nice and cozy, keeping it warm while inside the egg there is an embryo. The embryo, which is going to be our baby chicken or chick, is going to grow and grow and grow inside of the egg. One day, it's going to be too big to fit in the egg. 
So the little baby chick inside is going to peck, 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 peck at the shell and it's going to come out of the egg slowly but surely. It's a very brave chick. Now we're going to have the next part of our life cycle, which is a little chick, or also called a hatchling, because it just hatched out of the egg. The little chick is going to grow and grow and grow until one day it is also an adult chicken and it will be either a rooster or a hen. And that is a chicken's life cycle. Let's draw a chicken. A chicken. We're going to first spell the word chicken. Ch, ch, ch. I hear a ch sound at the front. And I know that ch is made with a letter C and the letter H. The letter C and the letter H make a ch sound. C and then a lowercase letter H. They make a ch, ch, ch sound for ch, chicken. Now I hear e, ch, e, e. I, ch, k, k. We have a c, k, k sound. Ch, i, k, k, ends, ends. E, and chicken, chicken. Chick n ch ik n ch ik n ch ik n chicken. Good job. Let's draw our chicken. We're going to begin with the beak. We're going to draw a circle for chicken's head. We will draw wavy lines at the top like bunny hops for the comb on chicken's head. Next we'll draw a circle on the face for the eye. And I like to draw a smaller circle and color in the eye dark leaving just that circle white. Let's add a dot on the nose for a nostril so chicken can breathe. We'll add a curvy line and then close it to make a wing shape. And your wing might look different than mine and that's okay too. No worries. We're going to draw a curving line from the bottom of the head around and back up for the belly. And then we'll have zigzag lines until we reach the wing for the tail. Then we'll connect a line from the top of the head to the wing to make the back. I like to add zigzag lines in my wing for some feather texture. And then I'm gonna add just some little feet at the bottom. Just like that. And now I have a cute little chicken. And once you're done drawing your chicken too, you can grab your colors to co color it. Now my chickens come in lots of colors. They come in black, brown, they come in white. I'm gonna do a brown chicken. You can make whatever chicken color you want. I need a Yellow, so I'm gonna color my beak yellow, but maybe you do an orange beak, that's okay too. I'm gonna color the comb 
red. And then I'm going to color my body brown. Just like that, your chicken is done. All right, we're going to make a chicken. We're going to need our toilet paper roll. And we're gonna find some white paper. Okay, we're gonna take our white paper and we're gonna hold it the long way, which is called landscape, or also called, well, sometimes we call it hot dog. We wanna fold that in half. that there's a line down the middle. We'll take our scissors and we're going to cut down that line. And that's going to make two halves. Two halves. When we put them together, it makes a whole. When they're cut apart, we have one, two, Toilet paper roll. We're going to hold it up. And we can either tape or glue it on. And then we're going to roll, 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 or put it up for roll. Just like that. So cute. And then we're going to attach it with tape or with glue. then I will be wasting my paper. So I'm gonna go find my scrap paper bit, see if I have a little bit of red in it. I do. I don't wanna waste a whole piece of paper just a little tiny red comb for my chicken. So I went to my scrap paper bin, and you can see this one has scribbles on it on one side, but it's good on the other. So I'm gonna use the good side, and I'm gonna cut out the comb for the top of the head. But this paper's pretty big too, isn't it? And I could probably use most of it for another time that I need just a little bit of red. So I'm gonna draw at the very bottom some curving lines to make the chicken comb. Just like that, the very bottom, so I don't waste my paper. Three curvy lines. Cut that out. And then I can save this paper for a time that I only need just a little bit of it. And now I have my chicken's comb. I'm going to attach that to top of chicken, either with glue or tape. And there we go, we got the comb on the chicken. So cute. Okay, now we're going to make, I'm gonna use my scrap orange here. Oops, a beak. Now I have a lot of pieces, a lot of papers, so I'm gonna rip off small piece for my beak. I'm going to save the rest here in case I need to make another beak in the future. And I'm going to draw the letter V on the bottom. 
the letter B. And then we cut it out. Give the glue a chance to stick. Here we go. Now we need to add two eyes. Two chicken eyes. Now we're going to add our weights. Save the rest for another time. I might, woo, need some white. And let's draw two wings. You make them however you want. You can do two round shapes. Just wavy lines to make some wind texture. And then we can cut it out.